everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Te Atiawa First Nations people and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Okay, someone has asked me to have a look and a re-look at the Old Red Cruise runoff. Uh, energies have probably changed since last time I looked at it uh, with uh, Harris going to Texas and having a brilliant rally there which has reinvigorated uh, and uh, helped Ulred with his financial campaign contributions, etc. Now, just very quickly, yeah, uh, certain states are still, um, shena- you know, mucking around with uh, voter registrations, not looking at you, Virginia, uh, Glenn Youngkin. Um, but if you do turn up to vote on the day, and you find that you have been, for whatever reason, deregistered or purged off the voter roll, ask for a provisional ballot and make sure if you see anybody else, uh, and, and let other people know, but if you see anybody else who turns up and looks like they've been turned away or is arguing, you know, but 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 I've been voting every election for the last 50 years, what do you mean I'm not on now? Uh, just mention to them that they can have a provisional ballot and uh, make sure that they stand their ground. So uh, it doesn't matter which way they want to vote. None of our business, nobody's business how anybody votes. Um, But, yeah, just make sure um, that people are aware that they can uh, ask for a provisional ballot. Yeah, the best of democracy. Stand up for the best of democracy. And here's Harris on the bottom. Absolutely. Harris, best of democracy, independent women standing up. Surprise, surprise, it seems to be mainly women, mainly um, people with uh, uh, a Latino surname uh, and or people in swings, Democrat, registered Democrats in, in swing states that seem to find themselves purged wonder if there's a pattern there. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at All Red and Cruz. Uh, for those that didn't catch it on my other two videos, mum tested positive yesterday for COVID. So she's in, uh, very mild, but she is in, due to the, her immune system with chemo, she's in the isolation uh, isolation ward in the hospital. I mean, she's got her own room, her own uh, bathroom, etc. I haven't, I've tested negative. Um I will test again tomorrow. Uh, if I test positive, I can go down to take it down to the local pharmacy, the local chemist, and they will give me antivirals over the counter. And apparently, uh, because mum has COVID, uh, she can't catch it again off me uh, when she comes back to the apartment probably early next week. Okay, so we're looking at All Red and Cruise. Interestingly enough, there's going to be a harsh truth coming out in regards to stealing the election. Uh, betrayal, loss, heartbreak by the three elements in Texas, Paxton, Patrick, and oh, what's the other do? Paxton, Patrick, and and I know the other guy's name. Give me a minute and I'll think of it. Hmm. Uh, Paxton, Patrick, and 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 you know who I'm talking about. The three of the three of them already admitted to, to to disposing of two million votes uh, when uh, Beto lost the, was it the governorship race a couple of years ago? Okay, let's have a look. I want to have a look at how Colin Allred is going to go. Colin Allred, thank you. Using my little tiny, tiny, um, oh, the youth bringing it, the youth are bring, uh, coming forward in determination, especially young females. Okay, come on. Uh, I do feel that Texas has a really, really good chance of going going blue. Okay. Colin Allred. Partnerships, agreements, working together, being overseen. Okay. Feeling Harris and Allred. I know these two figures are naked. Higher destiny is what I'm getting out of that. Higher destiny. The challenge is going to be the choices, the smoke and mirrors uh, performance that uh, the, the is happening all over the United States at the moment. 
<clears throat> the confusion that's been so in perfect example is the media in regards to Biden's uh, garbage com comment. The comment was about what that so-called not funny comedian said, but it was presented through the media as Biden calling Trump supporters garbage. So there's a lot of disinformation and confusion being sown. And I know the transcript was released and the White House released a statement on that uh, saying what actually was said. But by the time the media has run it through its 24-hour cycle, uh, press releases are almost, too, they're too late. <clears throat> okay, so confusion, smoke and mirrors, muddying the waters. At the foundation, uh, we've got the coming together and sharing the message, but we've got people walking away in the background there celebration, sharing the message, but right, in the past, big stick moment, new plan, new strategy, <clears throat> bringing forth new messaging, okay, in the past, crowning this reading, we've got the past, the gift from the past, crowning this reading, so this is all sort of the here and now, past, so this is the gift being given, the emotional gift. So this is Harris going to, to Texas. Let's see where this goes. Bringing in big donations. Externally, though, I don't know that Olrid's got it. I really don't. Out in the cold, internally a tower moment, hopes and fears, uh, the false night bringing, bringing an offer. The outcome, emotionally walking away, looking at the opportunity with the Page of Pentacles and um, hard work going on behind the scenes, but retreat, wounded, back up against the wall. We've got the King of Cups, which is the current Biden administration, but then we've got restriction and judgment. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So we've got the youth here. Emotions are high, trying to keep a tamper on the emotions. There is a <clears throat> decision that needs to be made, may even be a legal decision. I keep seeing Texas is going to go be a real problem state. Mercenary reactions of a plan that comes to fruition that's going to lead to loss and infighting and manipulation that's just going to end up in the Ports. Oh boy, it's not. They're not good cards for all red. Um, would love to live, love for him to win, but I just feel. Um, Abbott. That was it. Paxton, Patrick, and Abbott. Between the three of them, governor, attorney, uh, lieutenant governor, and attorney general. I just feel that, see, we've got this diminishing of the votes here. There's some dubious stuff that's going to happen in Texas, and I just feel it's going to end up, this one is probably going to end up at the Supreme Court. So show me, show me Ted Cruz, who has done absolutely nothing for the state of Texas. Show me how Ted Cruz is going to go. <clears throat> you wanted that one. Yeah. Oh, what have we got here? I'm going to call it a double there because they're very similar vibes. Again, bruised him, but this is his current situation. But then we've got here <clears throat> the manipulation, the handling of the votes. The wheel of fortune, plotting going on behind the scenes, the contracts and agreements that are being made. A plan that's waiting to come to fruition. It's all about muddying the waters internally. It's about uh, oligarchal money. Hopes and fears that he'll find himself out in the cold. But here we have the stealing of the election, riding in as the winner, but may not end well for him. 
Complete and utter downfall. Do not be surprised if he gets a knock on the door in 2025. Desperately trying to hang on. Big new plan. Something unexpected out of left field that they're trying to keep a lid on. Where they're, I'm just going to say, pouring the votes from cup to cup. Pouring them from one to the other. Yeah. Oh, boy, Texas. Um, I just, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there as I see it, uh, that it appears that Ted Cruz will be announced the winner. Does not mean he won, but he will be announced the winner by the three corrupt individuals Entertainment only, allegedly, allegedly, and all that jazz are uh, Abbott, Paxton, and Patrick. Ah, oh, kills me. <laughs> kills me to say. Okay, but this is the times at the moment, and we, as a globe, as a populace around the world, need to learn these awful, awful lessons so that we can actually deal with them. And it, this is about a process not a moment in time. So the elections celebrate the wins, but just know it's not over by a long shot. So I'm here linking arms with you and uh, good will prevail and right will prevail eventually. Love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.